for the second time, Pete Aguilar attempts to nominate uh, the one and only uh, Hakeem Jeffries to be the Speaker of the House. Uh, we all know that the Democrats don't have the majority, but that he will get the entire amount of Democratic votes, which will supersede the number of votes that uh, Jim Jordan gets as the Republican uh, nominee. And of course, we know that uh, there are several votes, uh, 17 votes or so that he needs. Well, it turns out after introducing the, 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 the person running for speaker, Jeffries, uh, the election was held again. And Jim Jordan didn't lose this time by 20 votes. He lost by 22 votes. But it's important for you to hear exactly how he defines Jim Jordan and how he defines uh, Jeffries, because only one of them are actually qualified to be what again? Speaker of the House. Let's listen to it and then we'll take it on the other side. To place into nomination for the position of Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of New York. Here we are again, Mr. Speaker. And I promise to make these speeches shorter if we get closer to a compromise, but I'm not certain that that's going to happen at this moment. While the Republican candidate for Speaker is making late night backroom deals to secure the gavel, Leader Jeffries has once again extended the hand of bipartisanship for a path forward. One thing was very clear yesterday, the vote total, 220, 212 to 200. The People's House has spoken and Leader Jeffries has the support to be speaker that this country needs. Speaker. Two twelve to two hundred. No amount of election denying is going to take away from those vote totals. We shouldn't, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. We shouldn't be surprised at the vote count. I noted yesterday the legislative acumen of the gentleman from Ohio. Would it surprise anyone that, in addition to not passing a single piece of legislation? He's never put a piece of legislation that has made it to a committee. The Speaker of the House must be a legislator. And the gentleman from Ohio falls short in that regard. He supports an extreme agenda and is hell bent on banning abortion nationwide. Gutting Medicare, gutting Social Security, and giving cover to January 6th attackers. Those aren't the values that we share. If we don't see a speaker elected in this round, there's going to be another candidate and another internal Republican conference vote and a secret ballot, and the country can't afford more delays and more chaos. 15 days should be enough. House Democrats are united on this path forward. We're united behind Hakeem Jeffries, united to put people over politics, and united to lower costs, create better paying jobs, build safer communities, and defend democracy. And once again, we're coming together to achieve this common goal, and that is to make Hakeem Jeffries Speaker of the House of Representatives. Almost, almost, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Hakeem Jeffries has done what we haven't seen from the other side of the aisle, and that is to keep a caucus united. When extreme MAGA Republicans vowed to send our country into a devastating default, it was Leader Jeffries who led House Democrats to reject the extremism and keep the government open. <laughs> Mr. Speaker Pro Tem, we have the vote totals to back that up. It has been Leader Jeffries and House Democrats who have shown a willingness and a conviction to keep our promise to deliver for American families. And it will be Hakeem Jeffries who will move our body and our country forward on a bipartisan path. Who on the other side of the aisle, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem, will take yes for an answer and work with us to achieve three common goals? And my colleague and good friend, the gentleman from Oklahoma, mentioned one of them. Supporting assistance to Israel, but what he left out was assistance to Ukraine and our national security <laughs> objectives. Second, above all else, we must commit to keep this government open and functioning. Yeah. 
And finally, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem, we need to put this body on a bipartisan path to achieve real results for the American public. That is what we were sent to do. That is what we need to do. That is why Hakeem Jeffries is the leader we need at this time to lead this chamber. I'd like to nominate Hakeem Jeffries as Speaker of the House. I yield back. Now let's be clear here, folks. There's, there, there seems to be no options. There, there are Republicans that simply will not vote for Jim Jordan. The, 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 what do we call him? The coup attempt, the person who attempted a coup on the United States, the insurrectionist, the, the American traitor, wants to become at the pinnacle of the House. Be real, folks. If it, it's sad that he got this time 199 Republican votes, yesterday he got 200 Republican votes. But it's shameful that these guys are willing to elect a traitor, an insurrectionist, the leader of the coup on the United States, attempted coup on the United States to be the Speaker of the House. Well, it seems like we do have a select few Republicans that are willing to do the right thing and make sure that we don't get a, a criminal like this elected as the Speaker of the House. It's bad enough we elected a criminal for the President of the United States a few years ago. It's bad enough. Let's get this right. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.